Hi, and welcome to our short video designed to make photo monitoring easy. My name is Olivia Pisani and I'm a Beef Extension Officer based in Charters Towers with DD. This video will cover why you should photo monitor and how it may benefit you. Also, how to select and set up photo monitoring sites. Photo monitoring is a method of observing and recording changes in land condition year to year. It can provide useful information in making grazing land management decisions by recognising trends and identifying problems early and is an indication of the feed available and reflects in your feed budget, confirming good decisions on grazing land management. In this photo monitoring from the Wombiana Grazing Trial, set up by Peter O'Regan and John Bushell, 65 kilometres south of Charters Towers in North Queensland, you can see the change in land condition as the paddock is subject to a heavy stocking rate. By monitoring the same site over a period of years, you can assess the rate and degree of change in land condition. So photo monitoring can assist you in identifying a problem area and what management strategies should be applied and when. Also, your selected photo monitoring sites may be submitted with your ERMP. Just refer to part F of the ERMP to ensure your sites meet the requirements. When selecting a suitable site, look for sites that are easily accessed throughout the year and represent the main land types on the property. The sites should not be far away from water, yet not right next to the watering point, so that the site is under what is considered a normal grazing pressure for the property. Also try to avoid fence lines and roads. Finally, you want the site to show any results from a change in management. For example, if you were to wet season spell, reduce the stocking rate or use fire. For the purpose of this demonstration video, we selected a site with a large tree about 30 metres in the background. This will make the photos easy to recognise when comparing photos from the same site. Once you are happy, place a star picket near the permanent fixture, as this will be the centre point for your photo. Then place a second star picket 10 metres north from the first. This will be where you take your photo from. By facing south to take the photo, you reduce the impact of shadows on your image. Also, make sure both pickets are clearly marked, either with an aluminium tag or, in our case, we've spray painted them. The aim of this photo is to represent the landscape. Try to take the photo with two thirds of the landscape and one third of the sky. Also, try and have the top of the original picket in the centre of the photo. If you can, try and take a second photo of the same site from an elevated position. The aim of this photo is to portray the ground cover and the pasture condition. When you take the photo, try and have the bottom of the original picket in the centre of the photo. So our tips for making photo monitoring easy are to take your photo around 11am for the best light. If possible, use the same camera. If you're using an SLR, try to use a 50mm focal length. Clearly mark the date and the site number on a white surface so it is visible for your records. This could either be a white bucket hanging on the end of the picket or in this case you could use a white bucket lid which will clearly show your site number and date. By using a whiteboard marker you can wipe off the site number and reuse the same white surface at different sites just by changing the site number. Be sure to store an electronic and a hard copy of your photos. This will prevent you from losing your records. And finally, if possible, take a GPS reading of your site. Well that's it for photo monitoring. Thanks for watching and for further info, Please feel free to contact any of the Beef Extension Officers at the Charters Towers office in Queensland on 07 47 61 51 50 or any Beef Extension Officer at your local DD office.